So I'm going to make a quick movie here so that you can see the code and just you know type the code and see if you can get it to work. So I'm going to run it and this is kind of your final project but it includes also the three homeworks, right? So the first homework is going to be just moving from left to center. So so I'm using a robot over here too. So I'm going to run, right? And it's going out like that to there it is. Then it blinks. That's the next one. And then a bubble. And then a laser. And then the guy goes down, back into the muck. And then the laser goes away, and off to the right. Okay. So now, uh, let me uh, go over here, and uh, let me pause for a second. Okay. So these are the results of different functions. This one's called left to center, blink, bubble, and laser. So the first one's left to center. And I'll scroll down so you can copy the code you know, as I go down. Now, uh, I'm using Starry Night as a background, and I have a stroke color. And then I have this ellipse. You know, if you got this gray, that means the ellipse is going to be, uh, the ellipse will be the shadow. Notice I have it offset by three. Then I go down and I have another ellipse. So that's my main body. It's orange. And then I have it starting a little bit to the left. Remember it's minus 12, but I want the ellipse to move over a little bit. And then these guys, these circles here, those are the eyeballs. And they're all moving with I. And I is going to move from minus 12, which is where it starts. All over. You can see it starts there because I could just uh, step through it. Uh, you'll know, see it right right there you see that's the um, it's hard to see because it's so small but that's the shadow and then there's the body and then here's the eyeballs okay that's see but that that's not in the center of the lips the center of the lips is further back that's why I moved it back by two and I moved the shadow back by three I also lowered it to minus two right compared to this one here that's at zero. All right, so now I go to the next part, which is right up here. Now I'm going to do blink. So now it's reached six zero. That's where the thing is at now. The eyeball is at six zero right now. So I call it blink, and then I can do this regular loop four times. Then I do this trick with J loop, but it's not to move anything like an animation. It's just to generate odd and even. So this random generator will generate either a 1 or a 2 each time, each time it loops. If it's a 1, you're going to step from 1 and take a step of 1, will take you to 2, that's even. If it tells you skip 1, take a step of 2, then 1, take a step of 2, will take you to 3, and that's odd. So we have this if, do, and else. You can see it says else there. The way that else is found, you're going to do this right here. And, well, I don't know why it's showing it way down there. Okay, so you just take the, you know, this else, and I already put it under the if, and then it will show up on your, on your, so I'll take right there, okay, and so there it is, and so now what I'm doing here is I'm just testing, this is testing, all of this guy here is for testing, so depending what number this generated, let's say it's even, if it's even, then all of this stuff, all of this that you see here, is nothing but the body, the shadow, and and then we have the uh, the eye. So we want it all if it's even. So you get the whole animal. If this thing comes out odd, right? Then as it comes out odd, I'm coming down. If it's odd, I have to go to else. If it's else, I put everything in there. Except I don't have the eyeballs anymore, but I have this line. And uh, that line um, is probably using a stroke color from up here, this black, and the stroke width. So I'll go like that, okay? And then notice this delay. It's not inside the decision maker. It is in the loop, but under here. Whereas this delay over here, up here, you see it was actually in the loop. See it here? And that goes like that. So now that's the blink. And then I'm going to go to my laser. 
Well, my laser is going to be, remember the fish is at 6 zero. So uh, I'm going to start it at the eyeball. So I'm going to go from zero to eight. You know, the, the, that's the count I'm going to do. And I have no stroke, but I have a fill color and I have my circle. Now N is, I'm going to subtract six from N. Now N, where did it start at? Well, N was starting at uh, zero, right? So if I subtract from zero and then I subtract six, so it's minus six, then it goes to one. So then I go to minus five, and minus four. So it's counting down, right? And this one is also counting down, but it's minus one times N. So N is zero is zero, but then you have one minus one. Two becomes minus two. And you're gonna, uh, right? And, and the radius itself is 0.25. So and then you have the traces off. And now this is my robot. And I'll have the crab sink back into the sand. So that's the laser. And the laser, I'm putting it right here, you see. I have link to the center, blink, bubble, and then laser. Um, I could probably put the laser before the bubble, huh? I wonder what that would look like. I'd shoot the laser and then um, and then the bubble would come out. Yeah, let's try it. I'm just going to play with it. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to experiment a little bit. If not, I can always take it back. All right, let's take a look at what happens here. So I go like that, and now I'll shoot the laser before the bubble. And there we go, bubble time. Yeah, I like that better. Then it goes off. Okay. So I just changed the order of operation here. I went from blink, laser, and then bubble instead. Of, it'll work either way. Okay, so now let's go down to the bubble. We got the blink, we have the laser, and now we have the bubble. So we need these background image to cover up the, the previous bubble as we're moving forward. Now this time K is going to be used just to grow the radius of the bubble. That's not really, um, I'm going to be moving K, right? And K will be the Y coordinate, so the bubble moves up. So notice that the circle is at 8, but K is starting at 0. And then I want it to go straight up and up to 35. And then you go up to 35, you see. Now here's the trick on the radius. I'm going to put what it was, 0.25, but I'm going to add 10% of whatever k is, so it's 10% times k. So k is growing from 0 to 35. Suppose you do enough loops so you're at 30. Well, 10% of 30 is 3. And if you take 3 and add it to 3.5, I mean to 0.25, you now have a radius of 3.25, so it keeps growing. Right, and then as I go down, you can see that I have the fill color. Let me get this thing out of the way. All right. And the rest is all the stuff, the body, you know, and the the eyes. I don't know why I have two delays here. Huh. That was weird. And then I go here, and now all I have to do is move off the screen. Now I gotta move with N, with the M guy, right? So all my X guys have to have an M in it. M plus negative three, so M if it's 6, then my ellipse is starting 3 over, so it's 6 minus 3. Okay, and now that was for my shadow. See, it's at minus 2 down. And now I have my main body, right? And then these circles here are all my eyeballs. So that should work fine. So I'll reset. Let's make sure we got it right. So it goes like that. Waits, it blinks, it charges up, fires, that backs down. The laser goes away, and the bubble goes up, and now we're to the right. Yes. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through the whole code just a little slowly. So this was the center to the right. All right, so now let me start from the beginning, and I'm just going to scroll down. So we're going to start from here, okay? And that's my all of my functions. You can see the order I have them. Then I have left to center. You can see what I got. At some point here, you can, you know, pause it wherever you want. And then um, I'm going to uh, go on. So now we have the blink. 
and this is how you do the blink. This is the one where we have a random generator, either one or two. And that's all we're testing to see if it's odd or even. If it's odd, then, you know, you're going to go put a line. So it looks like it's blinking. The yeah, eye will go away and you get a line. If it's even, you do it, the, you'll have your whole, everything, your body and your eyes. These down here are your eyes. And now, if it's odd, if J is odd, then we don't want eyeballs. We want everything else. We want the body and everything else, but we don't want eyeballs. Instead, we want this line. And then we do a delay. Then we finally have a little thing for the laser. The laser is in, so I'm calling it the no stroke color, but I'm calling the fill red. So if you look at what happens when n is equal to zero, then that positions it at minus six. No, now when n equals one, that's minus five, minus four. So it's it's counting. As you go zero, you have minus six, and then you go to one. So minus five, minus four, minus three. It's gonna keep going that way all the way till it gets to eight. And at eight, you'll have that and be two. And then I'm gonna take minus one times n. So that will set it down in the negative direction at 45 degrees. And then we have a delay here. Then I turn my trace off for my robot and then I have the robot move down. And there you have it, that's the whole thing. Oh, it's my bubble. After the laser comes the bubble, and here's this thing, this part here, just make the radius grow with K at 10% rate. Make sure this is multiply. This is plus. Okay, so we go like this. I'm scrolling down slowly. So you can use this to get the code, and there it is. And now we have the final leg of the operation is going from the center to the right. So I took everything that we had from moving from right to the center, and I just readjusted. Instead of going from minus 12 to 6, we're going from 6 to 35. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same as the very first one we did up here. See, this goes from minus 12 to 6. So everything else I copied, and I had to change. Notice this is I. So when I changed it, I had to get rid of that because I wasn't moving it. Look, there's a center. I have to put M, in, M instead because it's starting M. And that goes to minus 2. And so now you should have the whole thing. Hopefully you can, you know, be more clear. All right. So let's see. Go here and let me turn this off.